please uh, tell us your name and where are you from? My name is Olya Tkachev and I'm from Walla Walla, Washington. Olga, would you please tell us uh, what were the things you were struggling with? Since I was a teenager, I had migraines and kidney problems. But then after my third child, I started having just ongoing problems. It would be a bunch of different things from liver, which wouldn't allow me to eat anything besides lean meat and lean food, to kidneys, to pancreas, and migraines would be and would be the final um, result of all of that. Anything like back com constantly misaligned, everything from neck to um, the low back. And um, so I, was, I rarely had a day or two that I was not feeling any pain. I was always in some kind of pain. And I was always fighting and I was going. And so how did this affect your daily life? It was challenging. I almost never felt like I was my 100% self. It was a rare day where I could feel I am myself in full energy, positive attitude. I was, God taught me positive attitude, how powerful it was. It helped a lot, but it wasn't delivering me. And my work, I had to go to work and work at school where positive attitude really matters and energy you need a lot. And it was challenging many days. And uh, where have you been in search of solution from this problem? I have been everywhere possible. I've seen many doctors and they would many times check me, like they checked my liver, put radiation in it, which got me two months of being sick afterwards. They said, well, they were checking pancreas, um, no, gallbladder, I'm sorry, to maybe remove it. No, it's fine. Kidney is fine. Ultrasounds, everything is okay. They would find that I'm low on... Um, iron, vitamin D, they finally decided that I have um, gene deficiency, which apparently makes my body not being able to absorb any vitamins from food and just all the toxins, it's unable to get rid of toxins, so toxins stay, so my immune system was constantly down. This last year I had about 15 sick days and I used them all up about a month or two ago, so I was worried how I'm going to make it to the end of the year, I have no more sick leave. So would those vitamins and treatments help you with your problems? No, not really. I would think I come to one solution. I saw not um, regular doctors, they would give me medicine. It would give me only side effects. It would not resolve my problems. Then I went to natural doctors. They would give me certain diet, like paleo diet, vegetables and meat. My allergies would, I had a lot of allergies. I don't even know everything I'm allergic to. Just most of the time I had to take allergy pills on a daily basis. But even that wouldn't help and I don't know if it's the chemicals in meat or the I'm allergic was I'm not allergic to um, weeds and apparently some lettuce or whatever is considered as with I don't know what it was but it's like no matter what diet they would give me no matter what I would try accord, I get I believe according to my faith it would work for a few days and then it would go back pretty much to normal so and if one problem would go away the other one would come into its place it was like ongoing battle and how did you receive your breakthrough, your healing, and your deliverance from these issues? Yes, we came to um, John Chi's um, this um, great conference. Um, my husband's friend told us about it. We didn't go on Friday, then he came back and he told us what was happening. So we're like, oh, that's interesting, let's go. So we went on Saturday, and already by the end of the church, well, in the beginning, very beginning, as Jan Chi just walked up to the stage and he looked into the camera, I saw him looking through the screen. I was looking at the screen. I saw him looking into me. And part of me rejoiced and part of me just kind of in like some kind of fear in me. And I felt something is not right. And throughout the church, I felt this like when he would be praying for somebody, I felt some sh little shaking. And then at the end of the church, when he declared healing over everybody and told everybody to pray for their healing. I began to pray and declare healing and I started shaking much more and I was losing balance at this point and so my husband kind of held me up and then I see, I didn't really see my eyes were closed. I was praising God, declaring truth, but I was shaking a lot and then some people came and took me to the front and I came to the front. They laid me on the floor right away. Apparently I, I wasn't able to stand. Um, and I began to um, throw up, but just air. So I 
was laying there for a little while and then all of a sudden I just had a clear message in my head just like Jan Chi would tell people this is it you're healed this is it get up and that's what I just heard this voice in me this is it you're healed just get up and so I got up came to my senses and then walked back and how did you feel afterwards and how do you feel right now yeah, I felt great. I felt like I stopped taking, um, God gave me this understanding to stop taking all the vitamins because I knew I was dependent on them. I was spending hundreds of dollars on them every month. It was at least $100 on all the vitamins and all of that stuff. So I stopped taking vitamins. I stopped taking allergy pills. Sometimes Satan would come against me would tell me like you're too tired you're too stressed out this is about the time you get a migraine and I would start feeling the symptoms but most of the time it's just easy I would just say this is a lie I reject it I'm free and it just goes away sometimes um, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ and so right now do you feel do you know that you received your deliverance and you feel good yes yes I received my deliverance and God is victorious in me and he's growing and strengthening me in faith and fighting doubts and not allowing evil to come through with any doubt. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Would you please share a word of advice to people who might be struggling with some sicknesses or with the spirit of sicknesses? What can you tell them? I believe that in my case it wasn't so much about faith, even though it matters, but it was about fighting the doubts. Our battle is mostly about doubts, about it's the less doubts, the more faith we have because it says in the Bible that our war is against the mind. We need to capture our mind into obedience of Jesus Christ. And so it's about the, you know, staying away, fighting the doubts and believing the truth. And definitely being close to Jesus. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, we believe with you that you received your breakthrough, your healing and your deliverance at the conference. And may God bless you. Thank you so much. All.